The next thing we're going to look at is video screen recordings. So for example, if you go on the internet and look at a really good and interesting website, you can video record your experience of using the computer. It's a bit like these video tutorials I'm making for you at the moment. I'm recording what I'm doing on a computer and playing it back. And PowerPoint has a really nice little feature to help us do that. So I'm on the online safety page at the moment. So I've put watch our guide about using the website dot 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 to learn about online safety. So I'm going to use the CEOP website. So I'm going to change this to watch our video guide about using the CEOP website to learn about online safety. Don't necessarily need a bullet point there now because it's just one statement. I'll just tidy that up and I might use another feature on PowerPoint. So I might click on here. I might use an arrow. So I'm going to get an arrow on there. I'm going to rotate it so it looks something like that. You don't have to do this, it's just a nice little feature. Double click on that, it's always good for me to go back and just show you formatting again. I might even put an effect, I'm not going to bother, I'll go on then, I'll put an effect on. I like doing things like this. There you go, a nice little arrow pointing to this point we're going to put our screen recording of the CEO website. So to do this on PowerPoint, again, we go to insert. Most things are insert and you just click screen recording. Now, you've got to keep your eye out. Well, I've got to select the area I want to screen record first. And you've also got to keep your eye out when you click record on how to stop the video. So I'm going to select the area I want to record. I'm just going to use the website area here. I can put the web address on top if I want, but I'm just going to leave it at this. You can do what you want when you're doing this yourself. So if I click on that, if I'm not happy with that, and I did want the web address, I could obviously stretch it up, re redo the area I want to select to go back to select area and do it again. And then when I'm good to go, I'll just click record. As soon as I start recording, it's going to video me using this website. So if I click record, it says use the Windows logo key, shift and Q to stop the video. So I need to remember that. So from this point onwards, now I'm being recorded using this website. So I can obviously maybe go to like need advice. I can show people different parts of this website. So like all of these different things, I can scroll through and I can give them a video guide of using this website. So I need to try and remember now, is it the Windows key, Shift and Q I press at the same time? Yes, it is. And there we go. We now have a little video recording of me using the CEO website. So I can drag that into this window here. And then when my user now uses this, they can just click on play. When they play, it should have a little video recording here of me clicking on this website and using this. And obviously, when this comes up as a full screen thing, it's going to look really good. It's just another effective way of using multimedia to obviously engage the audience.